India is gearing up to compete with China in the $450 billion space economy. Russia's geopolitical isolation caused by its decision to invade Ukraine last year means a reliable space operator is now out of the picture. China is also feeling the heat from international players as countries look to diversify their supply chains and a reliable partner for launching satellites. And India is moving in fast to fill this space, pitching itself as an alternative to other established players like SpaceX. Just last month, state-owned New Space India Limited launched three dozen communication satellites from an island off of India's eastern coast for OneWeb Limited. OneWeb Limited's plans to use the Baikonur spaceport located in Kazakhstan, operated by the Russian space agency Roscosmos, to launch its satellites over the possible military use of OneWeb satellites ran aground. The launch had to be abandoned and could only be revived after India stepped in. The move not only salvaged the UK satellite company's bid to create a global broadband internet network in the skies, but also signalled India's ambitions in the sector. As companies like OneWeb scampered to provide high-speed internet to users across the globe, satellite launching is going to turn into a battlefield for those with the capability to do so. According to Ernst & Young estimates, the space economy will be worth $600 billion by 2025. So far, the space has been occupied by Elon Musk's SpaceX, Russia and China. But with Russia and China out of the picture, companies like OneWeb will only have two options to choose from. Elon Musk's SpaceX and India's state-owned new space India Limited. French Ariana Space could also have made it to the list, except it has suffered major problems getting its latest rockets ready for use. According to a Bloomberg report which quoted D. Radhakrishnan, the managing director of New Space Limited, the commercial arm of India's national space agency ISRO, that there's going to be a shortage of heavy lift launchers that will be required. Given India's past record of several successful launches at reasonable cost, New Space could give India the edge over other players in the market. To be able to cater to the expected increase in demand, New Space is ramping up production of India's largest domestically developed rocket, LVM3. So far, New Space has provided satellite launch services to 52 international clients. Recent policy changes made by the Modi government that include opening up the space sector for private players mean that startups can now access ISRO facilities, including launch pads and laboratories. According to a Bloomberg report, the value of India's satellite launch services could double to $1 billion by 2025. However, India still has some distance to cover in its competition with China, which owns 13.6% of all Earth-orbiting satellites, compared to just 2.3% owned by India. According to Global Times, the CCP mouthpiece, China conducted a total of 64 launches last year, out of which six were conducted by a private sector startup, Galaxy Space. If India is to capture this space and emerge as a reliable partner for international clients, India will have to address some of the issues that have plagued its space operations in the past. For instance, 70% success rate in recent years compared to 90% success rates of US, Europe, Russia and China. When it comes to cost, however, India is head and shoulders below the rest. India's 2013 orbiter to Mars cost just one-tenth of NASA's launch the same year. It is this advantage coupled with better reliability that India needs to build upon.